All right, I want to make a quick video of the rod holds that I ended up purchasing. Uh, I've been looking for a while now and we went back and forth of either just mounting them right into the side um, or in the, the near the rod lockers here. Um, then thought about putting a rail system in. You spent some money doing that. I have a Lund Fury. So on these, you have an inch and a half, just under, just over an inch and a half, under two um, for the gunnel. So there are certain track systems that wouldn't work for me. I've been against the clamp-ons um, just because I used one at one point and actually on the side here there's some little ring that's impossible to get off just because of screwing them in. Uh, what sold me on these fishfindermounts.com, a lot of good um, YouTube videos on these. Seems like a relatively newer company in this world, uh, but I absolutely think if you're a Lund owner or something similar, these are a good option for you. So these have little rubber pads here on the website. I thought they might have been plastic, so I was kind of nervous about it. Um, they are rubber, so that should keep the finishing on the side of the bowl clean. They also come with a stabilizer plate. The other reason I didn't like the clamp-ons is I'm going to use these for musky fishing, so they got some power to them. Anytime you get a good pull, these things go back right and left. So these stabilizer plates, I thought, would take care of that. That was another big selling point for me. Uh, so here is a look at it on. You can notice the stabilizer plate, which, which at first I was... Kind of bummed about it. it's not flush on there now they will sell another one with another um clamp here that and they said on the video if your boat has if the sides are kind of tilted slanted which the lund is i just didn't realize it that those would be better for you but i don't if i buy two more i'll go with those eventually i might um but i don't mind this because if you notice at no point is steel actually touching the aluminum of the boat because these pads there right there same thing it's not actually touching and these are all the way down so just screw it on um, and then with the stabilizer plate here I mean you can see if you rock it back and forth that's gonna eliminate which they said in the video uh, some of the movement issues that you'll get so first time we'll be trying these out on um, Saturday I'm gonna go to Lake St. Clair and if they can hold up there they can hold up anywhere uh, just in my previous videos this is actually the the uh, um, fish finder mount that I made um, that I had done a video on that's that's actually worked really well for me. It just plugs right in here and batteries in there. And I've been able to move that around, so it's worked well for me. Um, but yeah, I'll give these a shot and and um, like I said, if I could do it again, I would just buy the the version with the second clamp and that'll kind of tighten this up a little bit so these will sit flush. All right, appreciate it.